Today, we're going to begin our walk through the scriptures with the Gospels, with the Gospel according to Matthew. Matthew wrote his Gospel for the Jewish or the Hebrew people. He had a particular parable, the parable of the tenants, in his 21st chapter that we're going to focus our attention on today because it's a lesson that he was teaching to show that, yes, he knew that he was going to die. That was his mission. He was gathered in the temple this particular day, and along with the people, the chief priests and the scribes and the Pharisees had gathered to sort of trick him up. And they came with a question and asked, by whose authority are you doing what you're doing? And Jesus, as he often did, answered the question with a question. He said, I'll give you that answer, but first, John's baptism. Was that from heaven or was it from man? They knew that if they said it was from heaven, Jesus would say, why didn't you follow John? They said it was from men. The people believed that it was from God, and so they were in a hard place. They said, we can't, we can't answer. So Jesus continued to teach. He taught in parables. Our parable is the second one that is recorded. There was a landowner, and he planted a vineyard. Oh, and he built a wall around it, a watchtower, oh, a wine press. He did a great job. But he was going to travel, so he rented it out to some farmers. When the harvest time came, he sent some servants to gather his share of the grapes. Mm. But the farmers, they beat one, they killed another, they stoned another. The landowner sent more, and they treated the servants the same way. Then the landowner said, I will send my son. They will respect my son. But when they saw the son coming, instead they said one to another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and take his inheritance. So they took him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. Jesus asked, what do you think the owner of the vineyard will do? The response was, well, they're going to uh, come and take care of those wretched men. And they'll rent it out to someone that will give them the fruit. Jesus answers again with a scripture. The stone the builders rejected, the stone the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone, the capstone. Who's that stone? What was Jesus saying? He was saying, you rejected me. You rejected the real rock. You rejected the Son of God. And the Pharisees and Sadducees 
realized that what Jesus was saying was against them. And the conclusion of the chapter are these words. They looked for a way to arrest him, but they were afraid of the crowd because the people held that he was a prophet. Today, Jesus, the Son of God, some see him as the Savior, some see him as the Son of God, others reject, reject the stone. May we be upon those that are rejoicing in the rock. Lord, we pray, God, that during this Lenten season, as we share the wonders, the mystery of so great a salvation, where the Son would come and willingly give his life for our salvation, our redemption, our transformation, that we might become children of God. May we receive you and not reject you. In Jesus' name, amen.